ladies and gentlemen, Laura Rich. Just Laura Rich, needs no introduction. Well, for those who um, don't know me, I am Laura Rich, CEO and co-founder of Street Fight with David Hirschman, right there, co-founder um, and COO. So welcome to Street Fight Summit. How is everyone today? It's a nice, brisk morning in New York City. And we're so glad you're here. This is our sixth year hosting Street Fight Summit in New York, our sixth year. And the weather can be inconsistent in New York in the fall from one year to the next. And one year, actually, we had to reschedule the conference to January because of the weather. You'll remember Hurricane Sandy. So this is our sixth year, and things have changed a lot since our first Street Fight Summit in 2011. And it's funny, just a funny aside, when I, I hear from some people who are surprised that we have been around since 2011, they're just new to us, which is great. And then I hear from people who um, think that we've been around longer, which, is, which warms my heart because it seems that we've been in everyone's lives for a bit longer. So we appreciate that. So when we kicked off five years ago, things were a little bit different. Um, for our part, we had a lot of enthusiasm. There was a lot going on in local, and we knew we wanted to be a part of it. But we didn't know too much about what we were doing. Our first conference was a little scruffy. We were in an exposed warehouse building in Soho. Um, we had amazing content, but we didn't have really much in the way of networking. And that was OK at the time. Um, six years later, we've got so much networking going on that it's hard to say which is better, the content or the networking and we'll let you guys be the judge and hopefully we'll hear from you about that later today or going forward. Um, so, let's see, no one told me how to do this. There we go, year six. This is what I've been talking about, year six. So, um, so our relationship with you guys and the, where the industry has been and is now has also changed over time. Six years ago, five years ago, this is our sixth conference in the fall. Five years ago, um, the industry was more at a point of help me understand my business. So our emphasis was really on the content. At that time, new technologies and new business models were emerging. It was all about the content. Now at a more mature stage, the industry is a bit more at the point of help me uh, uh, expand my business, help me do a better job of reaching marketers, of converting marketers into more knowledgeable, proactive participants in the connected local economy. It is more about reaching out to others and connecting. Help marketers understand your business. And so we want to do more of this with you. In 2017, we want to work closely to develop content, community, and anything else we can dream up together that will bring marketers into the fold a bit more. They will have a lot to catch up on. The last five years has seen an explosion of companies that provide the tools for consumers to find, buy, and procure goods and services. And on the other side of that relationship, an explosion of companies that have de developed tools for marketers to reach, sell to, and retain those customers. Of course, like any healthy, maturing industry, there has also been a rapid expansion of supporting tools and services, data companies, agencies, and supporting infrastructure that create the backbone of local marketing and commerce. Big developments are still on the horizon. I'm keeping my eye on AI, chatbots, and voice search. I believe voice search will be a massive 
game changer for everyone in this room and will transform local search dramatically and the way that consumers interact with businesses. Chatbots are a good, good first step. We've seen a lot of great developments this year in the AI that's powering ch chatbots. And I believe voice search, ultimately, as it is paired with AR and VR, will be the real game changer. Um, cybersecurity, I'm sure many of you experienced Friday's unpleasantness, as I like to call it, when PayPal, Eventbrite, which you all have probably used to connect with our event, Twitter, and others were down. Um, so that uh, cybersecurity will become increasingly important across the board. We've heard a lot about it in politics and the security, national security, but it will grow in importance and companies will need to shore up any weaknesses there, especially as we all think about and work very much in data. Another major topic of the day is, of course, the proposed AT&T and Time Warner merger. And I think we're set to see um, more shifting landscape with proposed mergers like that and Google's potential um, a shift away in, in some areas from Google's dominance in certain areas of local search. So, in 2017, we'd like to partner with you further with the goal of onboarding more marketers into the mar onto the marketing tools and services they should be using to improve their success with consumers. We've been enjoying our partnerships with many of the top companies in this space. You've probably seen, if you've been on our site very much, or uh, get our newsletter, Street Fight Daily, you've probably seen the brand battles that we have done with Brandify. In fact, um, today in your Street Fight newsletter, we have a GIF that points towards a video related to the brand battles. And Brandify uses its platform to generate a brand score for a marketer's local presence. We look at two competitors each month and see who's got the better brand score. Those are great ways to demonstrate, for us to help you demonstrate to marketers what they should be doing in this space. And we'd like to, we'd like to do more of that together going forward. Um, a few other things we've done, we've partnered with Simplify, a great um, programmatic, local pro programmatic network to do a brand awareness campaign in our newsletter. We've produced a great white paper on, new mo on the new mobile landscape for SMBs in partnership with Advice Local. And we had great success in a partnership with Vivial's Local Vox to uh, produce SMB marketing content that um, reached the SMBs we wanted to and with great success. So these are some of the ways we're working to support industry goals. And we're looking forward to expanding that further Oops, that's what I want to look at. Expanding that further in 2017. Some of our plans for Street Fight um, include more intimate events, as well as growing the big tent further. And with our online presence, becoming more of a platform of resources to help both vendors and marketers learn, connect, and grow. And we hope that will also go down here today. So I'd like to acknowledge some of the great companies that have made Street Fight Summit possible. Um, thank you to all of our sponsors, and I wanted to mention a few in particular today. Um, Empire and Yelp have a great new partnership that you may learn about, and to celebrate their partnership, they are hosting an event at the Bennett tonight. Down a little further downtown on West Broadway between Thompson and Duane Streets. And you should have some information about that, either in your bags or from many of the emails, the many, many emails you, you received from me. Sorry about all of those. Hopefully they were helpful. Um, Simplify is underwriting all of our beverages and cocktails throughout the day here at 360. Um, please note that Info Group is giving away a pair of Beats headphones, so you need to stop by their booth during the day to enter, and you must be there at the afternoon break 
to um, be eligible to win. Um, I also want to thank the great companies that we visited yesterday. About 25 of us went around to four great companies in local in New York, Booker, Yelp, Place IQ, and XSAD, and I want to acknowledge them and thank them for their time. Um, and I hope more of you can come on the tours next year. Um, the next thing I just want to mention, this is our second year with the Local Visionary Awards, and the, the ceremony will be at 4.30. I hope you will all attend. We've got a really amazing group of companies this year, and I'm excited to reveal the winners then. So thank you so much, and with that, I'm eager to hear what Tim Reese, a truly big thinker, has to say about adapting to constant change in our keynote speech today. Thanks so much, and have a great day.